Hi, this is Dan Letha, and welcome to Inktober video number four. And on today's video, we're going to examine a couple different methods on how to teach drawing. And as I've been thinking about doing these instructional videos, I've done a bit of research online, and, and a lot of the videos that I see that call themselves how to draw are presented like you see on the screen here, where someone is very meticulously drawing line by line by line. And it's a very slow plotting type of thing. And then the child, or the student anyway, is supposed to exactly mimic each line as it's being drawn and try to copy it ex exactly from what they see. And, you know, I've used this drawing method in the past with work drawing workshops and, and uh, there are some advantages to it. So I don't think it's totally bad. But there is a, an aspect of it that I want us to consider. But let's take a look at this first. Um, I think one of the advantages of that it's, it's easy to get a desired result very quickly. All right, Especially, uh, say you have a class full of kids and you're, you're showing them one line at a time how to draw something. You're pretty much going to get a fairly similar result with all of, all of your students. And so that's that can be a good thing, and that it's easy to kind of compare the kids and you know, s see which ones have a little more artistic flair than maybe some of the other ones. So it's useful that way too. Um, one of the fun things about this line by line by line method is that there's kind of a slow, fun mystery reveal as to what is this because you start out and you really don't know what it is. You can start making all kinds of guesses. In fact, I've had kids, you know, raise their hand. You know, do, do you know what it is yet? And so they throw out some guesses, and it's kind of fun to see what they come up with. So the fun reveal is a, is also a very useful aspect of this particular method of instruction. Um, one other thing is it's good for younger kids. And so littler children, depending upon the complexity of the drawing, of course, can follow along and, and feel like they're keeping up if you draw slow enough and so you can you can include very young children in this drawing method and then also I think it's good for hand-eye coordination so you're copying something that's being drawn and so um, copying has some benefits it's not always a bad thing so I think it's good for that too but I want us to consider something a lot of the websites that have a huge collections of these particular types of how to draw images on it. I don't know if I really agree with the how to draw aspect of it. Sure, you, you, do, you get the end result that you want, but I would, I guess, argue more that it's a what to draw, not how to draw. Because someone that's learned how to do this only knows how to do this. And maybe it can look impressive. This example here is pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, but again, your student has learned how to draw this line by line. Now the examples that have just appeared on the screen here to the right are, are examples that, um, that I've drawn knowing the shape of the shark and the form and then I've taken and made other versions of the shark because I've learned how to draw a shark instead of being taught line by line exactly what to draw, I know how to draw the shark. And so I can put him in different poses and and uh, he's got different perspectives and different expressions on his face. And, you know, I suppose the kids could figure out how to do some of that with the example on the left. But really, the distinction that I want to make here is that one is what to draw, the one on the left, and then if you take some more time and give the, the, the students more instruction, you can teach them how to draw. And so I think the examples on the right, if you walk through how to do this, that could be more truly called a how to draw versus a what to draw. And so I think that there's greater benefits. And of course it takes more time. The one on the left is done in a short period of time. The, the ones on the right you know, take more time and investment. So but that's my target, that's my goal, that's the kind of thing that I want to teach in the, the videos that I'm going to be producing is more how to draw, not what to draw. 
So again, as parents, you make your mind up about this, but just something to consider. And thanks for watching my Inktober number four drawing.